Hello YouTube. Wanted to make this video for y'all, give y'all an update on this uh, journey. Uh, that's what all my videos are about, failing CDL journey. Uh, as y'all already know, if y'all been watching the videos, I, I got got my CDL, thankfully, and uh, now I got a job working for Trans Am. And uh, I just want to say that I'm grateful for uh, this opportunity. Um, and uh, you know, I want to just say that, uh, man, the stuff that I've been, the videos that I've been watching about Trans Am, because you know, if anybody's thinking about going to Trans Am, they've probably been watching all them videos. And uh, honestly, I'm gonna tell y'all, you know, it ain't that, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't that bad. It ain't, it's, it's, I ain't experienced none of the bad stuff. This is my, I'm, I'm at my first shipper. You know, given I, I'm new to Trans Am, but I mean, the company's been been so good uh, from from the very beginning, from talking to the recruiter, to uh, going through orientation, and uh, all that. So, uh, you know, uh, don't put too much emphasis on what you on what you see. Uh, the videos talking negative. Don't let that uh, discourage you. Uh, you know. I'll just tell y'all a little bit about my experience so far with uh, Trans Am. Uh, you know, I got, I'm got i a felon. I got quite a few felonies. I've been to prison, you know, multiple times. And uh, this last time out, I, I wanted to get my CDL. I finally got it. It didn't happen overnight, but I did get it, thankfully. Thanks to the Lord. And uh, through all that, uh, there was two companies that was really, uh, you know, anxious to get me on, regardless of the fact that I have felonies. You know, they were still willing to take me in. And that was Trans Am and Western Express. I ended up coming to Trans Am. Uh, the main reason why I made that decision was because I knew Trans Am had very good equipment. And they do have very good equipment. They put me in uh, a 2000, uh, hold on. Let me make sure I get this right. Yeah, that's what I thought. A 2020 Kenworth T680. And, uh, and I'm glad that they did. This is, seems like a very good piece of equipment, something that I can, I can learn in and I don't have to worry about it breaking down. It's, it looks pretty new inside of here. It was a lease driver's truck. I'm company driver. I went company and uh, um, I'm making 31 cents per, per mile, loaded and unloaded. Uh, and uh, well, like I said, the equipment's pretty good. It's, this is a, a pretty new truck, you know, and uh, well, orientation. So, so through, you know, the recruiting process was was pretty smooth. I mean, they they got me in. They hand they they replied back to the emails. They text messaged me. They called me. They did everything that they could to make sure I showed up for orientation, and I showed up. Once the orientation started, they put me in the Best Western in uh, Rockwall, Texas. Uh, very nice hotel. Very nice. I mean, one of the best hotels in the city, seriously. And uh, anyhow, so that, I mean, they have, you know, all the amenities, washer, dryer, you know, pool, uh, breakfast, you know, it's a nice hotel, very nice hotel. Uh, it's clean. It's not like, you know, it's one of the nicest hotels in the city of Rockwall. And, um, well, they would come and, and uh, they'd show up around 7 in the morning, pick everybody up at the hotel that's going to orientation. Then we'd take about a five-minute ride to the Trans Am terminal, and then we'd start orientation. The first couple of days, what they do is they talk about the Garmin. That's this piece of equipment right here. Anyhow, they talk about the Garmin. They, they get you familiar with the Garmin. First couple, the first day, you fill out paperwork, you know, stuff like that. They get you in the uh, habit of logging in. They give you a Garmin. You log into it, you go on duty. They slowly start teaching you how to use the Garmin. 
you know, how to go off duty whenever you're on break. Uh, then they then then they get you to download a couple of apps on your phone. They get you to download the Transam, I mean the Transflow app, the EFS app, and, uh, and then they just try they just start working on getting you familiar with uh, the things that you're going to be using while you're out on the road working for their company. They get you familiar with uh, you know how what what kind of paperwork you're going to be seeing, what kind of loads, I mean what kind of uh, forms you're going to be sending in through the Garmin. The Garmin is, man, the Garmin makes everything pretty easy. You may think that the Garmin might be hard to hard to learn uh, at first. I know I, kinda, I did. I kind of thought that it might be a little difficult. But I'm catching on, and it, it, I see how it makes everything easy. Like, like, they send you a load, and all that load information is in your Garmin. And... Uh, like the navigation part of the Garmin, like the, the messaging is all in the Garmin, the messaging with dispatch, uh, all the forms that you need to send is through the Garmin. It makes it really simple, a lot more easier. And, uh, but um, the, uh, the navigation about the Garmin is, is really nice, man, because all, like I said, they send you a trip, they send you a uh, trip information and it's got all the stops and all you got to do is is go to to uh this press the icon on the garmin and then it, it'll it'll and then press navigate to your first stop to the shipper and then after that if your next stop is going to like uh uh to f to get fuel then then after you after you finish with the first stop then you go to the second stop and then you just touch it press navigate and it'll take you right right to it so you really don't got to do a, no trip planning while you're working for a Trans Am as a company driver, uh, because the Garmin has got everything on everything on there. But uh, anyhow, uh, the orientation after after the the first three days of orient the first two days of orientation is paperwork, getting you familiar with the Garmin with forms, and then on Wednesday they start taking you out to the range and the the guys that teach uh you know the guys that the instructors that the trainers at rockwall uh mr uh, collins and uh mr terry they're very good men they uh they teach you they teach you uh i know one thing i'm a better driver after leaving trans am training than i was before i got there they taught me a few extra moves they fought they, they taught me how to do uh you know they taught me how to do a, a, a parking maneuver that would be needed at a truck stop, you know, like the, the angle parking. And then they also taught us how to do a, a, a 45 degree alley dock. And the way that they did it, the, the steps that they gave us works. I just now used it just now pulling up to this dock. And uh, um, I got out like here just now, I just, I got out and looked like four times because I just, I just remember what they emphasize, get out and look, and it really does help and give you confidence to know that you're not about to hit something whenever you do get out and look, you know. Now, when I can imagine like if I hadn't got out and looked, I, you know, it would have just been so much more gray area. Like, I'm, am I gonna hit that? Nah, I ain't gotta worry about wondering all that. All I did was just get out and I looked to see where I was at, see where the trailer was at. And um, anyhow, so far, Trans Am's been really good, man. The orientation, they put you up in a nice hotel. They pay you seventy dollars a day for orientation, and uh, and it's been it's been really good. Uh, so I just want to, uh, like I said, I'm just making this uh, video to give y'all an update. Um, see what else. Uh, um, so whenever I finished orientation, uh, some people got their trucks at the terminal. Some people had to go, had to fly uh, to Can Olathe, Kansas, to get their trucks. Me, I had they flew me to South Carolina to pick up a recovery truck. I guess somebody left it somewhere, and anyhow, it was a lease driver bef that had this truck before me. I guess he left it, and uh, I had to go recover it. So. You know, I, they flew me out. They put me in a hotel while I was, you know, going through that process. And and uh, they, um, you know, I got to the truck. It was it was kind of dirty. So, you know, they paid me seventy five dollars to clean the truck out. Plus, they gave me uh, 
another $65 to, to buy the cleaning material to to uh, clean the truck out. So I got all that cleaning material with me right now to, to help me continually keep the truck clean. So I think it worked out pretty good. You know, I got a pretty new truck. I got a good truck. I, you know, I got paid for cleaning it. And I also got uh, material to, uh, to keep it clean, you know, and Trans Am pay for that. And, uh, you know, they, they've been quick to come out of pocket for real, like on the hotels that I had to stay once I got here to South Carolina, they, you know, they, all they did was just say, hey, find you a hotel. And uh, th then they said they paid for it. It was pretty nice. Like Trans Am's been real good. You know, uh, I have nothing negative to say to, to about Trans Am at all. Uh, whenever you go through orientation, you know, I think maybe they they like to have lease drivers, but they don't push it on you. Not like how other people are saying. I promise you, they don't push lease on you at all. Like three people through my orientation decided to go lease. At first, nobody was wanting to go lease, but then they decided to go lease. And uh, I was thinking about going lease too, but but I was like, well, you know, I'm going to learn. I don't even know, to be honest with you, I don't even know the price of diesel. I don't know how many miles I can run a day. I've never done this before. I was like, I, so I'm, my mindset was let me get behind the wheel. Let me learn how to run this truck. Let me ha learn how to do this. And then I'll think about going lease in the future. So, uh, you know, um, I just told the, the guys that went lease, I was like, man, uh, if if uh, if you got the attitude that like that you can do it, th then I, I believe you can do it. I believe you can do it, man. Uh, me, my, I'm a little bit more reserved. I want to just take this opportunity to learn at their uh, at their, uh, you know, not at their expense, but you, I think you know what I mean. You know, I'm. I'm I got a 12,000, uh, a 1,200 uh, mile load from South Carolina going back to Texas. That's where I'm from. And, uh, you know, uh, that's a pretty good load right there. You know, that's not no relay load or nothing like that. Uh, people, uh, one of the main things that people was talking about in orientations, like they was like, I don't want to get, I don't want no relays, relays, this and that. And, you know, I don't know nothing about relays yet. I just heard that they were, they were small miles and like, you know, but anyhow, uh, I'm just letting y'all, I'm just making this video for y'all, man. Giving y'all an update about it. I'll see if I can give y'all a view of the truck. Everybody can tell I'm a new driver <laughs> because of the way, because what I'm doing like this, getting out with the camera, looking at the truck. <laughs> yeah it's real nice y'all it had a little bit of damage to the front from the last driver i guess uh but they said they got a claim on it they're about to get that fixed other than that it's a, it's a pretty good condition um But uh, anyhow, just wanted to make this video for y'all, let y'all know that things are, are looking up. You know, if y'all watched my first video, I hadn't, uh, y'all, my first video, I was failing uh, the CDL permit uh, test. And I got through that. It didn't happen every, overnight. None of this happened overnight, but it's slowly coming to, you know, I'm slowly beginning to see profit from making good, good decisions. And I look forward to continue doing that. But I just want to uh, to let y'all know that if I can do it, I know that y'all can do it too. Um, anyhow, I'll keep y'all posted and, and uh, I'll make another video whenever whenever I can. Maybe share, I'm not, you know, not, ain't no maybe about it, but share some more information with y'all. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe.